Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kyla, Kyla Janae, if you didn't already know. And today, I'm at the beach. So today is gonna be a solo beach day. It's a beautiful day, okay? So it's September 2nd, right? And yesterday was actually kind of chilly outside. And I was like, damn, I've only been to the beach like twice this summer. So here I am. It's September 2nd, it's like, it's like a good 75 degrees today and it's gonna reach up to 80 so I thought this was the perfect time to come out here spend some solo time and just chill and relax so yeah this video is all a part of the self-care chronicles of course so this is my little setup right now like I have a white blanket I have the book I'm reading right now and obviously I have my journal the little chair voila I know it's Labor Day weekend, so at some point the beach is gonna get like super duper crazy crowded. So right now it's like 12, 16, so I have like a good couple hours, maybe two hours solo in this spot to just relax. And guys, let me just show you. So I'm at Orchard in NYC. We're not known for our beaches. I'm not gonna lie, they're kind of dirty or whatever, but it's pretty peaceful right now. Let me show you. Alright, sorry for the weird angle. It's kind of hard for me to even see the camera screen right now. But guys, can I just say that I've had a really crazy like two weeks. Um, mentally, spiritually, physically. And if you're close to me, you already know. Like I voiced it. So I'm on my cycle, my period or whatever. And I get really intense mood swings. And on top of that, just all the symptoms in the world. So right now actually i feel like a big bloated ball of mixed emotions and i just really needed to come to the beach alone just recharge so this journal today your girl needs to write some things down i need i feel like i just need to like release a bunch of these overwhelming thoughts i've been having in my head the past two weeks i've been overthinking the freak out of everything like in a negative way and i don't really want to voice it to anyone because like um it's no one's issue the fact that i'm having um or it's no one's issue the fact that i'm having all these issues right now and i don't want to unload on someone so i just really felt like i needed to recharge and come to the beach so be real with y'all so i came to the beach like maybe two or three weeks ago right and i was vlogging my little time but a lot was going on and you know those little lantern flies they were like invading so i couldn't even pay attention or stay all the hours i wanted to there was like seven or eight of them at a time going on the beach chair going on top of me girl it was a hot ass mess so i'm back today i'm gonna be including some clips from that time and this time and y'all know the difference because my nails were done. They were like red back then and fresh set. And now they're like short. I just got them removed recently, but yeah. Right now on the whole beach is these little creatures. I don't even know their name, but they're everywhere. And they're like attacking people. I don't know, it's a whole swarm of them just came out of above fuck nowhere. So the book I'm currently reading is Necessary Endings by Dr. Henry Cloud. It's the employees, business, and relationships that all of us have to give up in order to move forward. And I'm not gonna lie, when I first bought the book, I was like reading a bunch of pages back to back consecutively. 
for days and then I just, you know, my attention span, I never finished it. But best believe, I'm gonna show you guys. When I first started, I was like highlighting, taking notes. If you could see, I was really freaking into this book. So I thought this is the perfect moment right now to continue reading it and just chill the freak out. Cause I just wanna like turn my mind off right now. Um, there's a lot going on mentally that I need to settle. Settle right now at the beach. So I'm just gonna read some of this and then catch a tan. Here they go again. Stay creeping. Like get out of here. My God. Jesus. Nah, this feels really amazing right now. But y'all wanna know how I messed up? Like truly, I didn't bring no food. The last time I came, I had my sandwich, my watermelon, my wa water. All I brought today was a water bottle. That's how you know mentally I was going through some things. Cause like, how I come to the beach with no sandwich, no food. So I had a really big breakfast. I had like a huge omelet, coffee, all that. Um, but that was earlier and now I'm getting kind of hungry. But I'm not leaving this spot right now. It's too peaceful. So I'm just gonna relax. Yeah. <laughs> so nice on my feet you already know me i'm not going in but i just wanted to wet my feet and it feels so nice outside today like this was such a great idea you guys need to like take yourselves out more go on these solo dates go to the beach alone like why not the most you're gonna be doing is fighting all these seagulls like that's it Fighting your deep thoughts and fighting the seagulls, basically. I'm kind of sad that summer is over. Like, basically ending. Like, I have mixed emotions about that, too. Like, I'm excited to not get bit up by mosquitoes anymore. That part I'm excited about. But what I'm not excited about is, like, the cold weather that's coming. And then how, when you come out of work, it's going to be pitch black outside. All that I'm not excited about. But, yeah. You know, something I feel like I struggle with is like feeling overwhelmed at times. Like, I feel like I'm doing a lot of things to get to where I wanna be or like just in the general direction of where I wanna be. But it gets hard when you do a lot alone. And I think a lot of you guys could relate. Like, a lot of our young generation, like I'm 27. I'm like late 20s at this point, but a lot of our young generation, we're doing a bunch of things alone and we're so independent and we just carry a lot of struggles and stresses that could feel consuming. So I just think it's interesting. Like in those moments where I get so overwhelmed, I kind of like close myself off because 
it's just easier that way to like deal with it alone than to sit there and like talk about it with someone because here's the thing with me i feel like if i'm going through something you know it's harder for me to sit down and tell someone because at the end of the day the most they could do is like give me a pat on the back and be like damn sis keep your head up like damn sis you'll get through this you know only i can bring myself solutions so it's kind of in my brain the way i think about it is like it's no point in like venting to people which is okay but i don't know it's just something i struggle with and i know a lot of other people struggle with that too so it's important to find these moments of like peace serenity for yourself to just deal with your crap you know something i constantly tell myself mentally and it's kind of like my motto is one step at a time you know when things get crazy and life gets like super hectic you just gotta like take a deep breath and just take shit one step at a time one day at a time one hour at a time even like yo minute to minute and the really hard days i mean that helps me so i just thought i should share it because maybe it'll help one of you guys just one step at a time because if you think too far out of all the things you need to do or like all your responsibilities and just stuff like this it could make you feel overly overwhelmed and just shut down so sometimes i gotta look at the short-term goals like the day-to-day -day stuff just to get me through yeah There's literally a cute little seagull being mad nosy right now. I'm trying to see what I'm up to and if I have food. But I messed up today, guys. I didn't bring no food. Now they all about to attack. <laughs> okay, guys. So, it's been like four hours that I've been at the beach. And I really do feel like I was able to like decompress and resolve some things mentally. Um, so, it's been a successful day. I'm about to pack it up soon, or I might watch the sunset. I haven't decided yet. He really wants to stay um, to catch the sunset. But the other part of me is like chill, because I told you it gets really chilly now um, towards the night. Like, it gets like 66 degrees. Can you believe it? And it's still summer, girl. Like, what? And also, my phone battery is pretty low. I'm all out of water and I got no food, but I'm just vibing like, this shit feels amazing. Ah, this is exactly what I needed today. All right, so if you guys like what you've seen, please like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, take this, this is your reminder to treat yourself, go on a solo day, a solo date, and just, yeah, pour into yourself. So I'll see you guys in my next video, okay? Bye.